a hat so we can start painting. All right, perfect. So today we're going to do another colorful dog. All right, let's begin. So the first thing what I'm gonna do is decide on my background. I wanna make the puppy um, very colorful. So I might tune down the background. And if you watched my previous video on um, the pet, we painted another doggy you will see how in the end I changed my background not completely but I did change it quite a bit all right so I'm going to just look at my palette tons of bright bright happy colors here and I will just see what do I want for my background I think I'm gonna pick um, that super hot color here and maybe a little bit of blue and see this blue actually I think it's getting a little messed up that's okay all right so I need more happy color here so it's turning like purplish pinkish and if I want it even lighter I'm gonna add a little white but if you see my brush strokes are in an X motion. flaking paint that's okay so let's get a little bit of black right here and again you see how I'm not trying to outline it completely there scooping this is totally scooping paint with my brush and applying it it's almost Kind of like the way you want to do on oil just use tons of paint and not necessarily because oil also can be very very light So I'm going to get a number five brown brush and I'm first thing gonna use a little bit of uh, whatever it's left from that blue with some black and separate the elements of my dog so I have ears I have the beautiful pear shape head and then I have the chest right here I have two paws here one paw here and the side of his bottom so I'm going to separate this so I can not lose my elements I'm seriously using the Tip of my brush and this is round brush it's not even um, really really pointy but I am just going to
think my brush strokes are not super super precise. I'm not trying to be really really perfect. And there is the gardeners. It's the best day. The only day I can do this. So So what did I do? I separated a little bit the head. We have tail. We have kind of like um, ear separation. I need to definitely separate this part. And there's my dog. Now I'm gonna take a bigger brush. And it's another round brush. It's a little bit bigger. Just because I will move much faster with it. And I am going to use every single color. And even I'm going to pour a little bit of dark with it. Perfect. So have a party. I'm gonna go in here. Now like last time when I used um, blue and yellow I have to be careful if I want to not have too much green I have to wait for my blue to dry so that's another thing. So here is my So I'm moving between the colors pretty fast. Not going to spend too much time. My brush is dirty. I'm continuing to use it. to wash, too much paint on my brush. And when I start making it a little bit too colorful, there's too many colors, I might decide okay let's take some of the colors out and leave it a little bit more simple um, you can absolutely change your mind at any time like for example this bright red right now is going to change and not just that but i'm going to blend it into the rest
So my yellow is turning a little uh, green and that's okay. With the blue, more purple adding. I'm gonna also add a little bit of purple right here. So I'm emphasizing on the eye, just how I emphasize on the shadowy side. And also I'm gonna get just a little darker right here because this is, here is my um, snout. So this part is right underneath the eye. So I'm pushing it back a little bit. Um, okay. Then I'm gonna take the white and I'm going to just apply a little bit of that on the top. A little bit of that on the top of the ear. So I'm just gonna have a nice here. Here's one paw, the other paw. Let's wash that brush. I almost feel like it's very little subject. Um, usually I'll paint just the head and it's gonna be big. So I have to be careful not to overdo the colors. Not to make it too crazy. Top of the head, this part right here. So I know I'm dealing with wet paint, so I'm getting the white on the top and then I'm gonna push whatever I use. You see how the eyes disappear, so I'm gonna have to bring them back where they belong. Okay, a little bit of dark color on the top. So if you're doing an eye, it's almost like doing 
the C. One way and then the other way. Whatever the light is coming, you plan it to be. Much water. me sometimes to do a little goof ups because then you can see how easy it is to fix. Emphasizing a little bit more on the inner of the eye. Get a smaller brush. See. Can touch up a little bit again, emphasize on what's lost. a little so I'm gonna go with the blue dark blue and I'll go over I'm gonna do the same thing here it's gonna seem right on certain areas I'm going to make it look like it's happy this little thing here also I'm gonna get it out so I'm going to take that a little away So with white, 
And again, it's a dirty white, so it's not a clean, clean white. I'm going to add a little bit of a line. I think I'm done. Let's look at the background one more time. Let's add a little color from what I want to pop it in the background. Changing a little bit, adding a little more fun, a little party to the background. shadow underneath so he looks like he's standing Perfect, we are done. And here is our little guy. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.